Hi Aries, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your March 2022 Is It in the Cards Love Tarot Reading. This is a love reading for all Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to all of you for all the support you've given. I send you love and positive energy and hope you are finding love in your life. If you are new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, come back in a couple of days and watch a new reading. Don't ever try to make it work. Fridays are always a general reading. Mondays are a different style every week. So of course today will be a love reading, but next week it'll be something entirely different. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. Okay, what, do you, what advice do you have for Aries? Sun, moon, rising and Venus about love. What does Aries need to know about love, please? Messages for Aries about love. Okay, let's just, yeah, let me just do that one more time. I feel like the cards were kind of struggling a bit. Okay. All right, so we will start here by drawing three cards to represent your energy, three cards for the person you're attracting, three cards and the advice. You've got the four of wands, the magician, the ten of wands. They have the eight of pentacles, the five of wands, and justice. You've got the two of cups, the king of swords, and the knight of swords. Well, I'll tell you what, if there's a challenge in a relationship, you're going to do what you can to make it work. It's worth it with the two of cups being here. You know, that's a, that's a, a true love card okay and it really is a card when it comes out in the tarot especially when there is a challenge in a relationship because you both have it um that says it's worth investing in that there is real love there so you have a marriage card here you've obviously got a soulmate card you do have something though with justice and the magician going on the magician of course is a law of attraction energy um so i like it i mean and even justice too um, but with this, with this air energy over here, I feel like there's going to be a very direct conversation. Okay. And some of you, if it's new love, you may just be very clear about what you want. So we've got Libra here. We have all the elements represented. This is your energy. I mean, I feel like you're going to invest in something, or if you've already invested in it, you, you know, it really is a matter of perspective, not looking at it and going, um, love is so hard. Relationships are so hard. It's really about it's worth the investment. Okay, you're worth the investment. With the four of wands, it is a card of great synchronicity too. It's a couple celebrating a union. It's a card of unity and love and feeling alive and alivened by love. And it's also too one of those signifiers that when you're in love, problems around you shrink. When you really are in true love, you don't worry about you know, the, you don't sweat the small stuff. It just seems to be, um, you know, just part of life when you really have found something. You definitely have a match here. With the magician, though, if, again, those of you that are new, this is a wonderful card to have because it's just telling you that all you have to do is align your energy. There's billions of people in the world. Who you want has already been created. It's not like they have to be born or something. So be very clear with your intentions because the the... Magician brings in great magnetism. It's going to bring in this point of powerful attraction that what your heart desires shows up. The red and the, the cloak of the magician and then the white underneath indicates that that search, that continued search for understanding. And I feel like in a relationship, that's going to be really powerful. Understanding the other person, their, you know, what they bring to the relationship, what value it brings to the relationship, and allowing each other to grow and flourish. Just like the garden that you see here and here, you have it all over. Now that 10 of wands, 10s are about the um, a new cycle. And so with this, it really is releasing all that resistance because the Ten of Wands can be rather burdensome. Now, for some of you, I do get that it's too much effort in terms of other areas of your life. Like you've been too busy, you've had too much with work. And it and it's really about giving the time and the energy to a relationship. And I like justice there because that's going to help with bringing in the balance. There's something about this that feels rather out, like there was an imbalance somewhere. And that may be part of it too, that you have not had time to get out. You have not had time 
you know, to do, to do what you need to do to cultivate a relationship. But with the magician, that allows you to have do or be anything. Meditate, quiet your mind, set your intentions like we talked about, and see yourself in the relationship through first person as if you're experiencing, not like a movie, but as if you're actually in the experience, bring in all those tones of reality. And that's how it creates because the, the subconscious believes what it feels. It believes it's a fact. And so with the person that you have here, they have an interesting energy because there's some similarities. They've got the Eight of Pentacles, which is that drive and focus. Some of them, you, you it might be more about them being focused on career and other areas. But I do feel like it has to do with a commitment in a relationship, wanting to commit. Somebody who can commit to, though. Also somebody who's going to be available. Um, you know, if they've had, like I said, if they were in the past unavailable, I do feel like there's going to be a shift for them with the Justice card. The Eight of Pentacles is to a card of vibration, rhythm, evolution. It's an inner peace, and it, and really it's an underlying unity. And so with that Eight of Pentacles, Pentacles are also about manifesting. And so it's that underlying draw to one another. And it may be somebody too. I do feel like they may be busy. They may have been busy with, like I said, work or some kind of extra school, like I hear MBA. I do feel like this person could be in business with the Pentacles and also with the Justice card. Now with that five of wands, it does present a bit of a chaotic energy, but the fives are about activity and change. So for some, it's the conflict that's been in a relationship and it's really time to get back into alignment because those are the, that's the biggest challenge we encounter. We fall out of alignment and so we start to find flaws. We start to focus on what we don't like and it grows and grows until all of a sudden, we end up not together anymore. And so for those of you that it's a challenge, it really is the problem is always with you and you and them and them. It's not you and them, okay? So even though this is in their side, it does feel like it weighs on them for those of you that are asking about a challenge in a relationship. Now, justice is another card of cause and effect telling you that it brings an equilibrium and balance, but it's also that you're the cause, everything around you is the effect. People show up how we expect them to. So have high expectations. Don't limit yourself. You know, expect expect who you want to walk through the door. It's they're available to you. So with the um, with the justice card, it may also be an indication since it is in their energy that this is a person of high integrity, morals, and trustworthy. It's also somebody who has loyalty and a loyalty that doesn't expire. And I, sp I feel it really strongly with that Eight of Pentacles. It's somebody who can make a commitment. And again, that might've been a little bit of a barrier, like they were already committed to other things and that's just their, you know, it's their moral code that they can't, like it's like they can't leave what they've started, right? They finish things and then they go on to the next. And so I do feel like overall though, that brings balance into a relationship. So we do have true love with the Two of Cups. The Two of Cups is one of the best, energies to have in a love relationship. So is it in the cards? Yes. But again, there's something with these um, knight and king of swords. Now with the two of cups, twos are about partnerships and a, cu a cups are about love and they're about that really great life. With the two of cups, you can be completely yourself. It's two people who can predict each other so easily because you're ener energetically entangled, quite frankly. The connection is so deep and strong that even if you've had a breakup, it's still there. And that might be the seven, uh, Knight of Swords. I don't know why I keep trying to call it Seven of Swords. But with that Knight of Swords, Knights come in to get things done. And that Knight is on us, pursuit of the truth. The Knight will not stop. And so for some of you, it may be a very bold conversation. And it may be something that finally clears away the wreckage of the past. For others of you, though, it may be about getting rid of something from the past in terms of letting go of old baggage so you can move into something and start anew. Now, with the King of Swords, what I like about that is it's very straightforward. There's no games being played here. It's integrous, it's honest, it's bold, but it's trustworthy above all else. And so I do feel like anybody that's had some issues in the past with a liar, a cheater, and maybe that's why I kept getting Seven of Swords confused or kept coming out of me somehow, is maybe you have had somebody in the past that way, and they're trying to tell you that this is something different. Um, again, it do, you do have Libra here and quite a bit of air too, so it could be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That might be kind of fun for you. Let's see here what the angels have to say for Aries about love, please. 
What does Aries need to know about love? And some of you, it's coming into your, at the end of the month, your birthday season here. If you're an Aries son, I have a an Aries child who's um, March 31st. All right, let's just do one more. Okay. I feel like I was starting to talk and I don't like to do that too much about other things than you. Ask for help from others. If you believe. So there might be something with that. I don't want to bypass that too quickly. Um, you know, there might be something with that. Again, I feel like there's a lot of communication coming forward. If you believe, so ask, believe, receive, and know that it's yours. Ask your angels. So a lot of it, there's a lot of ask here. That ask is one of the areas too that we tend to skimp on when we're manifesting. So make sure to ask because they say within the next few months. So your, your season coming in may be a tipping point. Don't stop because love is in the air for you, Aries. I see it in the cards and I love you too. I'll be back again soon.